Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Pisces, today we'll do your weekend reading, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Science. For many of you, it might be a bigger reading than just one single weekend. Let's see, loves, what we have for you at this time and how the energies are flowing right here, right now. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Science. Take what mostly speaks, connects, and resonates, and leave what does not. Pisces, what do we have for you, and what are the oracles' messages? We have relationship energy, and as well, energy work. Somebody here does some energy work for having a relationship or having a stable relationship or to bring a new relationship it's quite a good time loves happy birthday for all of you who do celebrate this time but also for those of you who do manifest this connection i feel here there's a lot a lot of people a lot of empaths, a lot of spiritual beings a lot of souls who does this at this time that energy work. Whatever is that energy, is like I do it myself, I do it to others. You are helping somebody or somebody helps you. But I feel here is like everybody here, especially because all the planets till I believe mid-April will go direct. It's a very good time to to cleanse to work on those issues which never could be done. So it's good thing here, Pisces. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then struggle more closely, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator, as you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationship bloom and prosper. It's kind of like I cleanse my energy and that way I will attract better. That's kind of a thing. And indeed here, many of you might realize that is a good thing to do and yes, I always recommend the cleanse of the energy to be done a few times a year. And of course, with somebody who really knows their craft, who really knows their work. And also, you know, over the time or in these times, there's a lot of so-called healers. Not everybody is a healer out there and not everybody is is somebody who is really dedicated to the field so be cautious my loves who you choose for yourself because i've been quite often asked in the emails if i'm doing that i don't so You gotta learn it yourself or you gotta, you know, learn from others. But also, every single craft in this world, that's one of my masters told me, it's that craft you, you catch from others. You steal from others. And also, you you learn generation after generation let's see here pisces overall energy from the spirit and from the cards here you are queen of cups you might deal with the other water sign doesn't need to knight of swords hermit king of cups all right It 
it's kind of somebody here. It's not like you are dealing with other people or you are in a third party. I don't see yet that. The energy what I'm picking up for you, Pisces, is why I am single. Why I'm struggling. What's the problem? What is my problem? Where is my person? And I will tell you, you are not yet aligned with the one in here. That when I see an alignment, you are not aligned yet. Okay? So whatever you do here, if you do any energy work, any cleanse and detoxify, listen to your guides. Listen to those angels' energies. And don't rush. Takes time. Because I feel here there is something here like deep inside energies which you need to get over it. Because you look at here, Knight of Swords and the Hermit, they are very, very opposite energies. So that needs to be aligned. And sometimes we are not. That's why many, many ask like why the person... I see, I don't feel connected, or what that person is, and they are not connecting with me. Because you are not aligned sometimes. Sometimes, you know, it's in them, sometimes it's in you. And you need to identify that. Whatever it is, let's see, loves. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. Fool, Chariot, High Priestess, Four of Swords. It's like, looked like I'm I'm progressing, but now it's it's quite like, wait a little. Knight of Wands, Sun, and Four of Wands. All right, loves. It's like you. There's a Pisces here is like you you bring these people into your life, but they don't stay. And the thing is now, it's kind of like, it's kind of, the thing is like, I attract them, but after a very short time, they are gone. What I am doing wrong. And it's quite, str not strange, but it's kind of a thing today with the readings I'm doing. A lot of you feel that way and deep, deep inside you know. You do naturally attract love and good energy. But there is something here that they don't stay or they are not, they're not too much into relationships they take you on an easy note or they they are most likely enjoy your company but they might not feel that they are at your level or they might feel like you don't have specific requirements overall i love your energy and i speak here with a pisces here who is good communicator easygoing, successful, somebody who is a go-getter. Let's go, let's do, let's make it. And I feel here that you, that sometimes I, I see myself in some readings. I am a Pisces on the North Node and my daughter is a Pisces. But the thing is, Sometimes when you are too easy on others or you you go with the flow or you try to go with the flow, the other person feels like we are not at the same page. Or I don't feel that the spices want something. It's like you you give a different impression sometime. Or you are... You are give too much credit for them. So now it's kind of like, what in the earth I don't do right? What should I do to be right? 
and that what is the energy work for I'm glad that is connecting so you could bring that alignment and that person you need into your life and you know there is something here not quite going as you feel needs to go because indeed here what Pisces I'm talking you do attract love always and you always are very joyful good the energy you possess it's beautiful there's no doubt you don't have this good engaged energy awesome energy but what you really want is this four of wands a unity union i want to be with a person who loves and i love not to be just one-sided connection and it's kind of like i want to attract the same vibration the same personality the same energy it's like we we want to go in the same direction not like different and that's the thing some of you you might go to a sacred place for some of you you might do you know indeed here spiritual work you know i will not say hype knows or things like that but there's something here that comes within you and you go towards somebody to do that so indeed here this will happen this month any day i don't see if it's done at night time it's not done at night time it's actually in the sun could be an open space But I feel here, you you know what you do. As we have the High Priestess here in the middle, you know what you do. You know exactly what you do. And I feel here, whatever single energy you had till now, whatever you do here to attract, it's coming quick. It's like whatever you do now, I'm not laughing at you, Pisces, but I see it's it's like within a month coming up. So Pisces, I feel here I'm talking with somebody who is accomplished, who is a very easygoing person, who is a very, you know, an explorer. You might have fire in the chart. You might have air or water. There's very little earth energy here, as we have Virgo energy. But I feel here, whatever you do, you know exactly what you do, wh why you do this. And that is more likely, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to go through life myself i want to go with somebody and be on the same vibe which that's good let's see here one message from the universe towards you i really enjoy your your energy whoever i'm reading here i love your energy and indeed here whatever you do will work because we'll bring you this four of wands. We'll bring you that person. Now let's see here one message from the universe. Page of Swords. Six of Swords. Death. 
and the Hierophant. Here you are. Learn from the past. Watch your actions. Move on. Because there is a new beginning. There is transformation. And also, it's kind of don't act anymore on... Not on purpose, but it's kind of like don't... Don't jump or don't don't let it in in a that easy way. That needs to change. That impulsive energy or that energy that everybody's good, everybody's awesome. That's changing. And I feel here learning whatever it was, learning your actions, learning the things you've done. You're moving towards something new. And this is commitment. So, living indeed here something in the past. Transforming this. Changing this. Because death energy is changing the way you do life or you are. Which is not easy for many of you with this scorpionic energy. But I feel here there's a Pisces nose already. And this change will bring you that stable commitment. And Raya loves. So yeah, Pisces. That's what I have for you for this weekend. It's quite wow sometimes, even for me after all so many years, that sometimes the energy just flows and gives you that insight and sometimes does not. Because you see in my readings, sometimes I need to clarify every single thing and sometimes we don't need it because the messages are coming through. And yeah. If you really enjoy this energy and feel like I'm speaking to you, let me know and that's what I have for you. Blessings to all of you and of course, if you want to be part of this beautiful family, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. It's much, much appreciated. Namaste.